Yo, yo, welcome back to the Backyard Dude. On today's episode, I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, we wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, our small uh, milestone, which is we achieved 100 subscribers. And if we can see you as a subscriber, you'll be entered into the drawing and uh, we'll be notifying one of you as the surprise winner. So yeah, let's get into the show. We're gonna turn it over to Michael as he replaces a couple items or removes a couple items from the previous bumper. Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna save some of these parts that are still valuable. So we're gonna take this off and uh, we can reuse this. This is not undamaged. Is that a black widow or not? Sure. Guess we should look things over before we start. <laughs> <laughs> so we were able to salvage a couple of these parts. Uh, obviously it's dirty, but it's uh, still intact. It's still in good shape for uh, both that cover as well as the, the grill support. So uh, I think we're, we're for, for the bumper support. So I think we're in good shape on these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead down to the local Volkswagen dealership and pick up our part that we ordered for the air valence and get that swapped out. Since Michael lost the coin toss, we're going to have him go back into welding. So we'll go ahead and get those brackets welded on. I'm just going to epoxy weld it. Maybe super glue. We'll figure something out. All right. Let's do it. Well, we were unsuccessful. We went all the way to Harbor Freight. We were hoping they had a specific part to help us expand that dent in the fender, but uh, we failed miserably. Quick update. So far for the day, we are 0-2. We went to Harbor Freight, we struck out. We went to Volkswagen, we picked up the part. When we got the part here, it was the wrong part. So Michael went back to Volkswagen. He's gonna try and get the right part ordered. And so while he's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and prep our bumper for our welding. Yeah, let's continue. Got that baby all prepped up for when Michael gets beat. Eat. All right. Now let's go prep the machine. This should be interesting. Never prepped the machine before. So let's <laughs> see what we can break. <laughs> I think it was in the original one that we took off. We said we, we weren't gonna weld the main bumper together because of our welding skills aren't up to par yet. So we're not gonna do that. Well, I think our welding skills at least can accommodate the two brackets when we weld them on there. Yeah. 
screen got busted. That's What's fine. up, Wild Man here. We're going to go ahead and install the flux core wire into the machine so we can get this machine prepped and set right. I think you do not know what I'm doing. Now we have Michael prepping the tension on the flux core wire so that the uh, wire comes out smooth as he welds. Yeah, he's got this. Here we have Michael trying to contemplate why there is no power to the machine, when in fact, Oh, it's not. Are you ready for me to plug it in? Oh. So, <laughs> so, today we got Michael to step out of his box. He is not the conservative man today. He's actually filling the role of the wild man. So, we're going to test out his wild man style. Yeah. <laughs> We got power. Yeah. We got juice. We do want it at 95. Right? <laughs> it correspond to what the actual settings are. We'll get that. <laughs> This is what happens when you have it welded in 30 plus years. You start prepping the machine for 120 volts, not realizing that the machine is plugged into 240 volts. Obviously our test weld did not go very well. <laughs> After that, he's ready. He's like, let's do it. We got this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> You're laughing now, but let's see how, how big of a mess I make of all this. Okay, well, that looks like it's clamped in place where we need it, so. Not bad. We'll so now, we'll now you just got this. Do some grinding. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we'll clean it up. You know, you just got this. Down, so this, this, down the yeah, side, yeah. yeah. Okay, that is good. You're doing good. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to put the editor. Yep, let's do it. You got this. You're rolling. But let's, uh, before we get, you did double, I mean, you, you, yeah, you would have double yep. checked this, so. Yep. Should go just like that. Is that uh, the little Yeah, way? I messed up on that. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. So just tack it, and then we'll put the plastic piece on it. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. I probably could even reach it from here. Okay. Are you in? 
This one looks lined up really good. Right there? Yeah. Does that I work? That's really good there. Feels yep, like they I think line we're up good. pretty All good. All right. I think we're good. Oh, that's still warm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. You just turn the knob and it makes you more sensitive? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need to wear this when I'm at home having a discussion. <laughs> We're talking about the air day ones. So yeah, I mean it's not pretty, but <laughs> we are gonna grind it off though. Yeah, we'll clean it up <laughs> with the knife sharpener. With the knife, with the knife sharpener. Yeah. All right. All right. So um, we tested out Michael's welding skills. He did a pretty good job for uh, being what 30 plus years since welding. It's been a little while. So we got the conservative man to break out to be a little bit of a wild man. So stay tuned to see how all this unfolds and uh, thanks for enjoying and watching the video and uh, comment and uh, give us some feedback on what you think and we'll see you on the next episode. Yeah. Boom.